it's Dr. Amanda with Street Smell Solutions. You're about to watch a quick video about my opinion about getting wisdom teeth out in orthodontics. And again, this is just an opinion of one orthodontist, which may not be correct. So just a clinical opinion. You should have your own opinion, do your own research, consult your own physician and your own dentist to make the right clinical decisions for you. But enjoy the show. Hey, aloha, it's Dr. Amanda with Street Smile Solutions. Greetings from Northern California. Um, sorry, there's gonna be a little noise in the background. I was trying to get a quiet background, but it's not happening. So let's talk about wisdom teeth. And that's the topic for today. Is this whole wisdom teeth thing a load of crap? So is this something that dentists do so that they can pass the referral to their friend who's an oral surgeon who can make more money and use the insurance? Yes, absolutely we need oral surgeons, okay? There's times when you absolutely must get your wisdom teeth out. Don't get me wrong, and I have a lot of content on this, when it starts causing trouble. Be it starts causing trouble and it affects teeth from coming down, it starts causing trouble and I can't move the back teeth because they're in the way or one's getting impacted. Yeah, okay, those gotta come, right? Well, what about the preventative ones? And that's what my friend was specifically asking. They're like, okay, time to get your wisdom teeth out and you just do it because you think that's what you're supposed to do because everyone did that before you and you did it and your parents did it and your aunties did it and your brothers did it. But do we really need to do that? I mean, and if you're somebody who's worried about it at all or, you know, is just concerned about the chance that something's gonna blow up. Yeah, things, things can blow up. You know, teeth are meant to touch another tooth. So they need to be upright, not tipped, touching another tooth and actually be functional to eat without like having any flaps of gum over the back that could collect um, plaque or bacteria. So yeah, if yours are fully erupted and you can keep them clean and cavity free and you don't have a history of, of having caries, in, you know, in your background or anything like that, great, you know, keep them there.